My partner sits underneath. Boom. I'm already locked into position, right? If he keeps this leg hidden back, so he's not trying to be active with it, then I get here, even <coughs> though I can't reach his leg, there's nothing there. So then a lot of times it is easier to sit to my side and get the finish that way. I have that one in the playbook, but more often than not, when we're here, then I see how he came up and he tried to lock up my leg, he's like getting on his side, like he's gonna come up and take my back. This is what's gonna happen more often than not, so I just fold behind and catch. Once he goes to that spot, which most of the time, if you just hold them there long enough, they'll try it out of sheer boredom, then I lock it in place and then they can't leave again. So that's what that top leg is doing. Once you realize that that is a trap, you can't leave the trap anymore. I gotta shut the door. But if that leg is not there, I don't have to force it. There's about a million other variations I can try to go to, okay? Um, I won't kind of go down the list because we're gonna get a little bit into the, to the upside down. So that's it. Last thing we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk about how I finish the guillotine from the mount. We talked about back hand finish, right? My number one finishing variation, positionally, number one finishing position is the mount. How many, is there anyone in here who feels like it's easier to hold side control than the mount? There's a lot of people that I hear say that, right? So it comes up consistently, especially for newer practitioners or those that have wrestling backgrounds. They're like, man, I, I like being in side mount better. Or if it's not easier to hold, they find it easier to submit, right? When you get to the mount, you typically put your hand in the gi and then start setting up that like jujitsu 101 combination. Threaten the choke, they defend the choke, that raises the elbow, we bring the elbow up, we start working towards the S mount arm bar and then, and then everything goes from there. When, things, when we take away the gi and there's no choke to set up, we're typically just trying to like wedge their elbow up so we can get into this arm bar position. And sometimes that can be a tough proposition, right? So I see a lot of people struggle with this and for that reason they're like, oh man, if I, if I run out of ideas on the mount, I just dismount to side mount. Makes life easy, now I have more ideas. So one of the features of the mount is as Chris is down, we're gonna be centered up spine on spine right now. So, no one has anything at this moment. You can even make sure your feet are even wherever they're at, good. Chris is completely even, I'm completely even. Everything's moving in unison. Which side is Chris forced to go to first? Whichever side I decide he wants, right? Because everything's even. So which side do I have to be prepared to defend? Both. 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 And that's a lot of pressure on me. I don't want to have to think about the fact that Chris has limitless options. I want to take him down a very set path where I've seen all the defenses and I've seen all the counters and I have an answer for every single one of them. So what I like to do is right when I get to mount, I choose a side and because I'm a left arm guillotiner as my better side, I jump to the right side. So I jump so this arm's going to be ready to work. I jump here. So now, if Chris tries to buck me this way, I've already got all my weight this way. And if he tries to buck me the other way, my weight's over here. So I've either got a base point that's way too far to ever get bucked, or my weight's so far that he can't bring it back over the top of his own body. I mean, I would have to face somebody who was like 450 pounds for them to be able to like solve that weight riddle. So I bring both hands over. Now my rib cage gets involved and finds Chris's face and helps him look over this way. So my rib cage connects to the face and brings him over. My elbow slides behind the head. And see how the head popped up for me? Now all I'm gonna do, it depends on how aggressive I wanna get. <coughs> Sometimes if I'm feeling greedy, I'm gonna force all this to happen. Other times, if I'm tired or feeling more like relaxed about things, I will let Chris um, bridge and shrimp. So he can't go that way, so he's gonna, yeah, exactly, go the other way. And now, all the keys, right? So if I'm forcing it myself, I'm here, my rib cage drives, I lock, I just keep coming up, and then my hand springs out and locks in on the head, boom. Now it's hard to deepen my hand, right? So we talked about if we were here, could we get 
my hand deep enough on the knife hand to finish? Probably not. I post on my head and my toes and my hips go really high in the air. Now I jump deep. Now my hips slide back down. My hand reaches out. I drive off my toes and bring my hips to my hand. And that's the finish. Anytime I'm on the mounted guillotine, you see some variation of this typically for me to get all the way deep, deep to finish. Here, drive across, drive up, lock in place, drop down. You can see in that case, he's grabbing my hand, it doesn't matter. I got all my weight. You know I mean, this is the benefit of being on top in grappling. I got all my weight to work for me. Both hands to the side, rib cage slides. Elbow lifts, now my arm's free to work. It just snaps into place, bang. My hips clear up and out of the way, so my arm can get deep. I can get as deep as I need to. Now I drop in. Then I drive. Big, big key. Do you see Chris's head way up off the mat? No, right? If I'm doing that, I'm testing the mobility of his neck. Some people are hypermobile, and once I get to the end, there's no way to act. And choke, it's just blood, 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 nothing, right? So you don't wanna be lifting their head up on the mat because one, it's really not nice to your partner, and two, it's gonna get you way less taps in the long run. You wanna be shooting low. Make sense? So let's go mount to the side, rib cage, elbow, snap around, pop up and in, and then we drive forward, big chest, hand on the mat. All right, ready? One, two, three.